How are you today, Mr. Bigby? Fuck off, Buffkin. Game Trailers Game of the Year Awards 2013. The Adventure Award was added to our roster last year, and while some genre awards were nixed this time around, we're happy to see the Lost Kingdom of LucasArts and Sierra growing in strength in 2013. What used to be an amalgamation of puzzles, jokes, and cheap deaths has matured. Story, atmosphere, and exploration are the calling cards of these new adventures, with reflexes and action taking a back seat. Perhaps no game exemplifies these criteria more than Gone Home. Provocative and nostalgic, the Fulbright Company has crafted a convincing milieu of the 90s. It's woven into a dark and stormy night with the Riot Girl soundtrack, following a thread which turns you from college co-ed to family inquisitor for a slice of life that feels simultaneously fresh, familiar, and fantastic. You ate a lot of people back in your day. I thought we were all supposed to have a fresh start here. While we've only been given a single episode of The Wolf Among Us, Telltale Games has proven that The Walking Dead wasn't a freak occurrence. This time, the setting is a grimy New York, with a cast of suspects and victims played by expats from fairy tales. Decisions have more immediate, direct resolutions, and the comic book and folk mythology influences combine to form a cast of cranks and heroes that will keep you guessing, waiting for the next episode to drop. <coughs> Meanwhile, we're still laughing at the jokes in the Stanley Parable, or maybe there's only one masterful meta joke, and now that you mention it, we're not so completely sure we're in on it. You'd expect game commentary via game to feel heavy-handed, droll at best. Not something like this electric curriculum of confusion. Perhaps this is the way forward. Can't keep him here. We can't let him go. It should be no surprise that Telltale gets another nod, but it's not the inaugural episode of Season 2 of The Walking Dead, which launches too late for consideration. It's actually the 400 days, that in-between one-off that toys with time and narrative flow. While a satisfactory Season 1 playthrough had you shelving the game, living with your choices, the 400 days begs you to replay it, to juxtapose the survival's tale one more time under a new light. And the winner is... There's this word, squib, which really defines our winner, the Stanley Parable. Its modern definitions say it's a small firecracker which hisses before exploding, if it explodes at all. It also means a satirical bit of writing based on an even more archaic meaning, where the sarcasm bears venomous fangs, ready to strike. Stanley is most certainly a squib, operating either of these definitions at a given time, or maybe even both. It's also a fine game to simply take in, to smile and think about. And by the way, squib also means to kick a football, the Stanley Parable is not that sort of squib. 